Now, my next guests have amazed audiences all over the world, as well as on Masters of Illusion and Penn and Teller Fool Us. They're the first ever magic duo from England to become Las Vegas headliners. And you can catch their show called The Cabin of Wonders at the Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. I want you to give a big welcome. Their first appearance here on our show. My guess is it won't be their last. Please welcome Matthew Pomeroy and Natasha Lamb, a.k.a. The Conjurers. Every show we go on a magical journey and discover new stories. In fact, we have one to share with you now. So my grandma was born in Guernsey and every single week she'd go to the cinema or the picture house as she calls it because she thinks she's posh. She'd go in, she'd sit down, she'd eat popcorn and drink her favorite drink, chocolate milk. And she'd wait for the movie to start. She loved getting lost in somebody else's world, lost in somebody else's story. Then one night after the movie ended, a man walked out on stage holding a red balloon on a red piece of thread. He was an amateur magician. He was relocated during the war from Holland to Guernsey. In the day, he sold flowers, but a night, a night he did that one trick with the red balloon on the red piece of thread. And my grandma loved it. She loved it so much. She went back week after week, month after month, but not to see the movie. The movie became irrelevant. She wanted to see the man. Well, fast forward about six months and that man and my grandma began talking. <laughs> fast forward a year, they began courting or dating. Fast forward two years and they got married. And that man became my granddad, that's true. And we are about to see is my favorite effect in the entire world. It's definitely the reason why we're here tonight. So it is my pleasure and privilege to share and show it to all of you. But as we are here in Music City, I'm with the incredible band. We have our band leader, Trey, here. Trey, I would like for you to please give us any number between 1 and 300. Ooh. Any, any, any number? Yeah. Okay. Um, 173. 173. 173. Right, audience, do me a favor. Everybody in here, front to the back, remember 173. And we have the super duper talented Laurie here. Now, Laurie, I have another important job for you. Okay. I need for you to think of any word that you like. And when you're ready, please share it with all of us. Uh, Christmas. Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> That's a great word. Okay, audience, help us out one final time. Please remember the word Christmas. And as you lock, store, and cement that in your mind, let's welcome the star of the show. With a thunderous round of applause, make some noise for Governor. Yeah, hi. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining me, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Have, you have a seat. Okay. Thank you so much. You're not going to make me disappear, are you? Not this <laughs> okay. time. We'll Good. save that for a later episode. Thank you. But now, though, you. you're going to see behind the curtain. You see, normally with every magician, you see what we want you to see. But right now, yep. you're going to see all sides. You see, I have a balloon just here, just like the one my grandma would have seen all those years ago. And if you see anything strange or untoward, feel free to let everybody out there and everybody at home know. So if you're ready and watching closely, let us try something. Life is all about balance, all about the ability to truly live in the now. And when we do that, magic can be found anywhere and in anything. So Matthew's going to snap the first piece of thread just like that. Now, if you don't mind, okay. will you check both ends for me? That sounds a little bit weird, but I want you to make sure that there are no magnets, there are no nope. wires, nope. there is nothing strange. There's no way it could reattach or Just rejoin. A basic string. <laughs> Perfect. Real then simple. In the middle, the second piece is also snapped. Okay. And just like Matthew said, Thank nothing you. added, nothing extra. So nope. exactly the same for the second piece. No wires, magnets, glue, nothing. tape. Just Lovely. String. And now the third and final piece. So I'm going to give you all three pieces. If okay. you don't mind, take them in your right hand and okay. roll them to a tiny little ball. Okay. Now here's the most important part. We want for all of you in this beautiful audience and sitting at home to imagine, but really imagine that somehow, some way, these three pieces can join and fuse back together by real magic. Let's try and create an optical illusion. I'm gonna take them back. 
Thank you so much. Right. And I'll place them directly on the thread and I'll go all the way around. So please do check. There's no extra pieces, nothing added, nothing taken away. 360. Now the idea is simply this. I'll make it look like those pieces stick, hold, join, fuse and lock to the thread. Now, of course, that's impossible, but we believe that anything is possible. So watch closely and it looks perfect. But of course, that's not good enough. For this to matter, for you to care, for it to count, mm -hmm. those pieces have to join, fuse, and lock back together, but in the air. So, gently. If it falls off, we pick it back up. But would you mind blowing on that knot? Just blowing on the knot. Please. Perfect. Okay. Everybody, watch. Piece by piece, strand by strand. Happens on three. One, two. Two. Three. Three. Whoa. And every single bit reattaches. No wonder your grandmother married your grandfather. Well, that's why. <laughs> yeah. But we can make this more impossible. Governor, earlier on, we got a random word and a random number chosen. Yes. But what about if that number was a page number? You see, here we have your brilliant book, and the number was 173. 173. Yes. Would you mind? Just turn sure. to page 173 for us. And when you get there, the idea is simply this, for the word Christmas to be on there. If that happened, of course, it would be incredible. Uh, uh, there's a problem. <laughs> which is? Page, you, someone has ruined my book. Not Torn us. page 173 out of the book. Well, ah, too we bad. wanted to give you a moment and a memory that would be completely <laughs> impossible. Listen. It's torn out. So, we're going to pop this. Okay. On the count of three. Ready, Tash? One, two, three. Three, and one piece falls out, and one piece goes. Where did it go? Right here. Now look, check oh, this out. Okay. Right inside the inner workings of the balloon, oh, there no is way. a page. Uh -huh. The page is wrapped uh -huh. in a band. The band comes all the way off, just like this. Troy, did you? Do <laughs> <laughs> we open it up. Any number, any word. And if you don't mind, would you tell everybody what number that is and what that top word is? The page number is 173, and circled is the word Christmas. Yes! <laughs> I don't know how they did that. That's pretty amazing. Thank you so much. We well, appreciate you. thank you, you. <laughs> because now I probably want to go marry your grandmother. You know, I, <laughs> what a, that's incredible. She'll love that. This is, I'm going to have to ask them how they did that, but if you want to see more of the astounding magic of The Conjurers, and I can't imagine that you wouldn't want to. You can follow them on social media, but here's what it would even be better. Get tickets to their fantastic show called The Cabin of Wonders. It's at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas. If you go to Huckabee.tv, we will tell you exactly how to connect and get those tickets. I don't know how busy you are, but since you're clearly slacking off watching YouTube videos, you probably got the time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and the like button. That way you get updates on new videos.